Hi there, today I'm going to take you through how to rebox your Milo for return. If you're planning on taking advantage of our free returns policy, just keep in mind that your stroller does need to be returned in as new condition, and this includes the original undamaged packaging. Let's get started. First things first, make sure you've got all of the original packaging, and you'll also need some sticky tape just to help everything stay in place. We'll start with the bassinet. To remove the bassinet from the frame, lift the release latch and lift the bassinet off the frame. You can then remove the bassinet adapters one by one by pressing this button here and simply pulling them off the frame. These will be individually wrapped in a plastic bag and then both will be placed together in another plastic bag. To repack the bassinet, we first remove the bassinet cover, pull the canopy down by pressing the two buttons internally and remove the liner and mattress. Pull the fabric tabs back towards the centre to collapse the bassinet. You'll place your rain cover back in the original tissue paper and inside a plastic bag inside the bassinet. Then return the mattress and liner back into the bassinet and the cover can go over the top. You'll have two complete tubes of foam. These go over the bassinet connection points. The easiest way to do this is to flip the bassinet over and place the foam over the connection point. These connection points can also be folded underneath the bassinet. There's a little button at the top here that you just press and fold under. Flip the bassinet back over to keep them in place. The two tubes with a cut down each end go on either end of the bassinet. And the two smaller tubes go over the canopy. The final piece of foam sits right in the middle. And now you can put the whole thing back into the plastic bag. Now we're going to repack the stroller. So put the bassinet aside and put the stroller seat back on the frame. It's easiest if you put the stroller seat back on the frame in forward facing position. Make sure the belly bar is not attached and is placed into the protective foam. The harness covers should stay attached to the seat. Place the belly bar inside the seat and fold it up. At this stage, you can also put the UV cover and the manual into the seat to keep them in place. We'll next remove the wheels. To remove the front wheels, just press the button and pull. Each of these wheels will have a small foam tube for the wheel pin and it will then be wrapped in a piece of foam before being wrapped in the bubble wrap bag. You'll need to use some sticky tape here just to secure the packaging. We'll do the same for the second wheel. These wheels can just be placed inside the basket. To remove the rear wheels, just press the button on the rear axle and pull out. The rear wheels will have a yellow plastic cap that goes over the wheel pin. Then they'll also get wrapped in the foam sheet before being placed inside the bubble wrap.
Again, you'll likely need some sticky tape here just to secure the bubble wrap. We're next going to wrap the front wheel hobs. These just get wrapped in the foam and again secure with a little bit of sticky tape. There's a piece of foam tubing that goes across the front of the stroller frame. And we'll secure the rest of the foam tubing to the handlebar. Just make sure the handlebar is in the lowest position. And locked into place. So the tubing fits around the handlebar and you will just need to secure this with a little bit of sticky tape as well. Now it's time to fold the stroller. So make sure you engage the trigger on the right hand side before pulling up on both of the frame release latches and fold the stroller down onto itself. Just make sure that this frame lock is engaged. Make sure your bassinet adapters are also inside the basket. You can slide them in just here if they're not already in. You'll also have these two cardboard tubes covered in foam. These are used to support the frame during transit. To put these in place, you'll just disengage the frame lock and open the frame slightly. You can place it here and then slide the frame back into place. Make sure that frame lock does get re-engaged. Next, you'll have two pieces of cardboard left. The longer piece slides between the frame and wedges underneath the seat connection points between the frame and the basket. You'll place the two final pieces of foam over the frame joint and the last bit of cardboard will fit between these. It might be a little bit of a tight squeeze, but this is to support the frame during transit as well. We can now put the whole thing back in the bag. Before placing the stroller back in the box, you'll have two pieces of foam. These are to protect these ends when they're in the base of the box. So we'll put these. The bassinet will sit with the canopy end on the canopy end of the stroller, just on top. Once it's about halfway, you can tip the box up and it will slide into place. The final piece of cardboard fits into the box at the end of the rear axle. And this just provides a little bit of extra support during transit for the box. Tape up the box and you're ready to send it back. You can get in contact with our team via the website or via email and they'll send you a prepaid return label. You can stick it on the box, drop it off at your local post office and they'll return it to us. Once we've got it and we've checked it over for damage, we'll process the return. If you have any issues reboxing your stroller or if you have any questions regarding our returns policy, please get in contact with our team. Thanks for watching.